We all know that we need to be physically active, but there are some things that make us less than motivated to get up and move. One of the major culprits in this regard is inflammation. Nobody wants to run a marathon or even get out of bed if they have aching joints and muscles. And while inflammation can sometimes seem like an inconvenience, it could be downright dangerous if we have internal inflammation, such as with our organs or blood vessels. It's true that a little bit of inflammation is an important part of the healing process or even immune response, but too much of it can end up bringing down our quality of life. The good news is that you don't necessarily have to take a fistful of pills every morning to bring down inflammation to manageable levels. In fact, many of the foods that we enjoy on a regular basis can play a large role in bringing down our overall inflammation. In today's video, we'll be going over 10 foods that have been scientifically proven to reduce inflammation throughout the body. If inflammation is a concern for you, then be sure to smash that like button. And for more videos like this every Wednesday and Friday, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. Now let's get started with the list. Number 10. Fatty Fish Let's start out with the obvious one. Of all the foods on this list, fatty fish are probably one of the most famous when it comes to lowering overall inflammation. Salmon, mackerel, and sardines are examples of the type of fish that come from colder waters and are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. The oil that comes from these fish is the focus of many scientific studies throughout institutions around the world. The results have been so strong that a study done at the University of Pittsburgh suggested that it could replace common NSAID pain relievers in many cases. Not only does it help with inflammation of the body overall, but it also plays a role in lowering cholesterol and triglyceride levels in addition to a myriad of other benefits. If eating fish on a regular basis isn't your thing, not to worry. Fish oil, either from whole fish or from fish liver, is a common and inexpensive supplement that can be found at any pharmacy, supermarket, or online. Number 9. Chia Seeds There's a reason why the word chia comes from the Maya word for strength. Although a relatively new superfood on the plates of most Americans, this incredible little seed has been used for thousands of years by the natives of Central America as a staple crop. Much like with the fatty fish that we previously mentioned, chia is also loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, although in a form that's not as bioavailable as you would find in fish, krill, or even algae. Even so, there are many other reasons why chia can help with your body's inflammation. One way is by providing your body with a massive amount of soluble fiber, which helps to keep things moving in your digestive tract while also absorbing compounds from your diet that can cause inflammation. In addition, these seeds also contain a massive amount of nutrients in the form of flavonoids, antioxidants, and certain minerals that are well known for helping your body with inflammation, such as zinc and magnesium. There are plenty of people who use chia as a major ingredient in dishes such as puddings or even as a meal replacement, but you can also simply sprinkle it over your salad or in your smoothie. Any way that you can get chia in your diet will definitely be worth the effort. Number 8. Avocados These so-called alligator pears are also known for their high amounts of monounsaturated fats, just like olive oil. But the reason that we're including avocados on this list and not olive oil is because of the additional nutrients that come packed within this fruit. While it can play a role in inflammation throughout the body, avocados are especially potent when it comes to arterial inflammation. Arterial inflammation is one of the kinds that can go unnoticed until you find yourself in the back of an ambulance. When your arteries become obstructed from too many years of bad decisions at the drive-thru, you end up becoming susceptible to a wide range of diseases, such as heart attacks and strokes. Between the healthy fats, phytonutrients, antioxidants, and nutrients such as potassium, avocados can play a powerful role in preventing or even reversing heart disease and other metabolic disorders. Whether you put them on top of your salad, slice them up for a sandwich, or even just use it as a foundation of a killer guacamole, there are plenty of delicious ways to add avocados to your diet. Number seven. Nuts. Both the blessing and the biggest problem when talking about such a broad category as nuts is that it really depends on the type of nut we're talking about. Walnuts, for example, are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, which we've already covered in a few different entries. Almonds, on the other hand, offer different benefits, such as high levels of monounsaturated fats, as well as nutrients such as zinc and magnesium. One thing that most nuts have in common is high levels of vitamin E, which plays a major role in the reduction of inflammation in the brain as well as chronic inflammation throughout the body. Of course, you could simply take a vitamin E tablet, 
but nuts contain various forms of the vitamin which work together. The only thing to be careful with here is the calories, since nuts often contain large amounts of fat. A handful a day is a good way to ration out these delicious snacks. Number 6. Green Tea Besides being one of the few common foods proven to help with lowering body fat, green tea has also shown itself to be a powerhouse of antioxidants and polyphenols that can help with just about anything that ails you. Its most popular and abundant polyphenol, known as epigallocatechin 3 gallate or EGCG for those who don't like to impress people at parties, also plays an important role in inflammation reduction. A 2016 Japanese study showed that EGCG is able to, quote, suppress the gene and or protein expression of inflammatory cytokinines and inflammation-related enzymes. Basically, that means it's able to reduce inflammation from a wide variety of causes. Just like a lot of other extracts, you can find EGCG in pill form or as green tea extract. But since green tea has such a wonderful taste and calming effect, why not just pour yourself a cup or two? Inflammation is something that should concern all of us regardless of age or physical health. But if you know someone in particular who would benefit from reducing their overall inflammation, be sure to share this video. Number 5. Berries As beautiful as they are delicious, berries are next on our list of foods that reduce inflammation throughout the body. They do this through flavonoids that are called anocyanines, which are also how they get their bright color. In fact, berries that have the brightest colors, such as blueberries and dark grapes, tend to have higher levels of these flavonoids compared to lighter colored fruit. A 2020 study done at the Queensland School of Medicine in Australia confirmed the anti-inflammatory properties of anthocyanines, but admitted that they still don't know exactly how they do that within the body. Either way, sounds like a good excuse for another slice of blueberry pie. Number 4. Cherries Time for another fruit on our list. Both sweet and tart cherries have been found to play a role in a particular type of inflammation that a lot of us tend to overlook, delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS. Essentially, this is when you feel sore hours or even the next day after a big workout or athletic event. It's the quintessential sore muscle and joints that normal pain relievers don't seem to help with and just need time to go away. Studies done with participants using cherry juice have shown notable effects, especially when it comes to athletes or those who have the strongest cases of DOMS. An added benefit of cherries is its ability to help both with the symptoms and causes of gout a common disease caused by uric acid crystals forming in various joints of the body. Number 3. Leafy Greens There is a reason mom always told you to eat your vegetables. Since this is a very broad category of foods that can have their own beneficial effects on inflammation, we'll talk about the ones that unify them all. Magnesium Magnesium is a nutrient that plays a large role in the relaxation of your muscles and other body tissues that we are often lacking in our diet. Even if you take supplements with magnesium in it, most supplements on the market today contain an elemental form of magnesium oxide which is not easily absorbed in the body. Most leafy greens contain large amounts of magnesium due to their chlorophyll content, which is also much more bioavailable than what you'll find in most pills. What's so great about leafy greens is that they're something for everyone, whether you prefer them in a salad, cooked, or even in a smoothie. There are tastes and textures for just about every palate out there. Number 2. Cruciferous Vegetables this is another broad category of vegetables that have a strong effect on inflammation throughout the body. Believe it or not, they're actually the same species, since broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and other members of this family actually come from a single plant that have been bred for various properties. Since they all come from the same plant, it makes sense that they have a very similar way of fighting inflammation throughout the body, namely sulforaphane. This compound has been shown to have notable effects on inflammation both within the brain as well as within the arteries. Since these are two types of inflammation that we typically don't feel, you'll just have to take our word for it that you'll want to avoid them. Of course, the way you cook the vegetables plays a large role in how much sulforaphane you'll end up getting within your body. Broccoli typically has the highest amount of all cruciferous vegetables, and steaming for just a few minutes appears to maximize the amount you'll get on your plate. And our number one food on this list? Garlic. It may not be something you'll want to load up on during a first date, but garlic is one of the most ancient treatments for inflammation that we still use today. Garlic is loaded with all kinds of beneficial compounds, such as quercetin, which helps our bodies deal with inflammation, particularly in the joints and areas with more cartilage. Even the Cleveland Clinic recommends using garlic oil on joints that may be problematic for older people. 
But don't worry, you don't have to smell like an Italian kitchen to get the greatest benefits from garlic. Aged garlic extract is available in pill form, often having little or no scent to let anybody on to your secret. If you wanted to get maximum results from the garlic that you use in your cooking, be sure to crush or cut your garlic well before you're going to use it. Studies have shown that many of the useful compounds within garlic are formed when combined with oxygen in the air. By leaving your chopped or crushed garlic on your cutting board for about 20 to 30 minutes before throwing it into the pan, you'll reap the greatest benefits from this delicious vegetable. And that's our list. When it comes down to it, foods that we typically think as being healthy are often healthy for more than just one reason. You may have seen some of these foods on our other lists for benefits to other parts of the body, so you may as well start using them. Another great thing is that a lot of these foods on these lists are remarkably delicious and affordable, so you have no excuse to not pick them up on your next trip to the supermarket. Did something on this list surprise you, or did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments. Also, let us know if there's any other topics you'd like us to cover in our upcoming videos. Until next time, this has been your friends at Verloda wishing you good health.